Welcome to my channel, Let's Summarize It. The rise in plagiarism in schools and universities is a complex issue. And the use of generative AI tools has certainly contributed to this trend. Students may be tempted to use these tools to generate content for assignments, projects, and by doing so, they bypass the learning process and undermine the academic integrity. Yes, there has been a surge in apps and tools that claim to detect AI plagiarism. However, users or students can always find ways around these tools. The question that we need to ask, could competency-based education address plagiarism? Before I delve into this, let's first define what does CBE or competency-based education mean? CBE is an approach that focuses on mastery of specific skills or competencies rather than traditional time-based learning. In a CBE setting, students progress by demonstrating their understanding and application of these competencies, often through personalized learning paths and assessments. Let's come back to that question. Can CBE address plagiarism? Well, there are three things that we need to look at. Number one, by applying or adopting CBE, we're going to notice reduced pressure on students. Why? Because by focusing on the mastery of specific skills rather than grades, CBE can address the pressure to achieve high marks, which is often a driving factor behind plagiarism. Students are encouraged to understand and apply knowledge rather than merely reproducing it. Secondly, there are personalized learning paths within a CBE approach. How does that work? Well, CBE allows for personalized learning paths where students can work at their own pace and focus on areas where they need improvement. This reduces the temptation to plagiarize as students are more engaged with the material and have the opportunity to understand it fully. Thirdly, use of authentic assessment. CBE often employs these kinds of assessments, which require students to apply their knowledge in real world scenarios. We're talking about performance tasks, simulation, role playing, etc. These assessments are more difficult to plagiarize and encourage genuine understanding and application of the material. My take on this. AI is here to stay. Instead of excluding AI from the teaching and learning process and asking students not to you know, log in and see and, and interact with ChatGPT, etc., let's embrace it while rethinking the way that we teach and the way that we assess students. Maybe competency-based education helped with AI could actually form a more holistic approach to teaching that actually uses the better part of AI and neglects the parts that we don't want to see plagiarism.